I actually haven't been to the gym in two months, which is absolutely crazy because this is the longest break I ever had from the gym, which was not intentional. I don't know what happened. I was in the beginning of August before my Eros show got canceled. And then I kind of never went back because the whole month was just crazy after that. And I don't know, now it's the beginning of October. So I was like, why not film it and see how much weight I can still lift see how much I'm gonna be struggling and I even lift close to the weight I was lifting before I'm actually all over the place because I haven't been in so long I don't have my routine like of the stuff that I need I was like oh my gosh what do I bring to the gym which sounds absolutely crazy but yeah whatever okay I'm rambling having my pre-workout if I haven't had pre-workout in a very long time I really get this pre-workout jitters you know in my face and in my hands honestly i've been thinking about quitting pre-workout altogether i don't know and maybe just switching to coffee but i'm not sure if coffee is doing enough for me especially if i train early in the morning where i'm pretty much like a zombie i don't know if this is the best idea but cheers <laughs> Okay, so we're starting off with some Smith Machine hip press today. My tip, if you haven't been to the gym in a while, if you do any exercise to start doing a few reps without any weight, just to get used to the movement again. And then I start with my warm-up set. My warm-up sets usually are a weight where I feel like it's not too easy, but it's also not heavy, where I cannot focus on my form anymore. Because we don't want to hurt ourselves, we haven't been here in a while. Then we're gonna see today if I can even go heavier than that. Let's do a little test without any weight. I always start by sitting on my foot, which I show in my workout split video if you want to see how I set up for my Smith Machine hip thrust. And then I put my shoulder blades onto the bench because I'm a little bit too small to just sit on the floor. That's why I'm sitting on my foot because the bench is way too high. You can also put a plate underneath, shoulder blades on the bench. Okay, <laughs> now we're getting serious. I put on some weight. So my warm-up weight usually with the Smith machine is 90 kg, which means 80 kg from the weight itself. And then I think the bar has like 10 or 11 kg or 9 kg, something like that. I just remember 10. We have 90 kg, which usually for me is a weight that I can easily do, but I know I have correct form and I usually go heavier on my second set. I'm a little bit scared, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. One, two, three. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was a little bit disappointing because I honestly thought that I can go heavier than this. I was like, I can do at least 100 kg. I have to say that the 90 kg is probably more than enough for today. It was um, very heavy, unfortunately. Also something that I always realized when I took a break, I mean, I've never taken a break that long, but if I took ever a break, I feel like the movement feels so weird. You feel a little bit like a beginner again. Nothing really feels quite right. Something that I also realized when I took breaks from the gym is that when I went back and I couldn't lift my usual weight, that it goes back to normal super quickly. Like usually the week after or two weeks after, I'm back to normal. Sometimes I was even stronger after taking a break. Taking a break is something that I did on a regular basis, but usually it was only like a week. But sometimes I took two weeks, three weeks off from the gym because life got busy, I had exams, whatever. Oh my gosh. So much worse than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh. Like the struggle I have now on my last one to two reps. I would have never had that with my warm-up weight. I'm doing three sets, eight reps. I'm not doing too much today because I also made that mistake in the past that I was doing too much. And then I was just so tired. Okay, doing the last set before we can finally move on to another exercise. Even though I don't think it will be any better. <laughs> Okay, since we're already at the Smith Machine, we're gonna do Smith Machine split squats. You can also do them with dumbbells, you can do them with the barbell. I personally do prefer doing them with the Smith Machine because you can just focus on the movement and not have to focus on the balance. Or if you do them with the dumbbell, you can also only have them in one hand and hold onto something. I feel like the movement is hard enough <laughs> and you really wanna focus, or I really wanna focus on my glutes. and. This is why I like to focus more on that than on keeping 
my balance. What we're gonna do first is start off without any weight, getting used to the movement, and then put on some weight, even though it's not gonna be a lot. <laughs> and I'm also probably only gonna do two sets because it's a single leg exercise, which is usually, you know, very exhausting, and <laughs> I'm not at my fittest point. On the first four reps, I was like, oh my gosh, I can easily take more weight than that. And then after the fifth rep, I was like, maybe not. Even though it wasn't that bad. So I think I'm going to try the 10 kg because you're only doing two sets. And I want to push myself at least a little bit, you know. When I do single leg exercises, I always like to start off with my weaker leg. For me, this is the right leg because if I start off with my stronger leg, my weaker leg is gonna be struggling, barely being able to finish. As when I start with my weaker leg, it's still gonna be hard for the stronger leg, but it's not as hard to finish the exercise. I really pushed myself with 10 kg. It was heavy, not gonna lie. The last two reps, I thought I'm gonna pass out. I almost threw up, but we did it. <laughs> now we're doing the last exercise, which is gonna be barbell. RDL. So we're gonna start off with just the barbell, getting used to the movement because it is it is a difficult movement. Okay, so when we're doing the barbell RDLs, all I do is I focus on pulling back or pushing back my hips, just pulling them back as far as I can. And then I usually go until my knees. I don't go too far under my knees because then my lower back is taking over. I just go as long as I can feel the stretch and then pull up with the glutes again. Pushing back, focus really on your heels, your heels being pushed back and then also when you pull up with your glutes, focus on your heels pushing up again. Okay, let's try some weights. Always using my lifting straps because I have very weak wrists and I need them. Otherwise, I cannot focus on the movement and I just focus on holding the bar. I'm not gonna lie, after not being really able to do my warm-up set, the hip thrust, I'm a little bit scared. Okay, one, two, three. Well, that was heavy. I mean, I could do it only for six reps maybe, but it, it was possible. I just noticed my tag hanging out of my sports bra, which is very nice. I'm actually trying to look at myself in the mirror and see how much muscle I lost, because usually if I don't go to the gym for a week or something, I already go crazy about how much progress I lost. So after two months, I'm like, I don't know. Is it actually okay? I'm not sure. So let's do the last set, giving it our all, really pushing through on the last set because then we're finally done. So how was it? Um, honestly, the most shocking thing for me was that I couldn't do more than 90 kg on the Smith machine. I was like, oh my gosh, this is bad. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, what did I expect after two months of not going to the gym? I don't know. So yeah, not really being able to, to even do eight reps, to comfortably do eight reps with the 90 kg was like, Oh my gosh, what did I do? I definitely could feel that I'm not super fit, that I was a little bit struggling. The movements felt really weird. This is something I really don't like when you go back. It's not that you only feel weaker, but you also feel like you don't know what you're doing. You know, you're not so used to the movements. I don't know, I feel like my knee hurt a little bit with my split squats, which I usually never have, like never ever. So I don't know why that was. And then when I did the RDLs, I could feel my lower back a little bit. So yeah, it was, it was, it was weird. <laughs> I finished my workout off with 15 minutes on the treadmill. I did an incline walk. I really want to build up my cardio, so 15 minutes was okay. Even though after five minutes I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot do more than that. But then it did 15, so I assume I would have been able to do another 15 minutes. So this is something I want to work on. Also the Stairmaster. I haven't been in the Stairmaster in a very long time and I want to work a little bit on my cardio. Yeah. Overall, I am glad that I only did three exercises because in the workout I wasn't so sure if I really, I mean, I could feel my glutes and everything, but after the workout, 
that was when my legs started to shake so I'm definitely gonna be sore and it was definitely a good workout after all since I started lifting in 2019 so oh my gosh five years ago oh my god that's so crazy it's it's literally five years ago because it's the beginning of October and I started somewhere in the beginning of October in 2019 oh my god ever since then I had so many different training phases and different things I did over the years but I would say the past three years I did very heavy lifting a lot of exercises a lot of weight and now during summer I realized this is not exactly what I want to do anymore also with the high protein eating super high protein all the time I got sick of all of that and also bulking and cutting I was like I don't want to do that anymore I just want to move my body and I want to eat healthy I still want to go to the gym of course <laughs> I just feel like I have different goals and different priorities but I'm planning and doing an entire video of what I want to change or what I have already changed so what my training is gonna be like and what my food my eating diet is gonna be like so if you want to see that please subscribe. I also plan on filming a training and what I eat in a day video with very lazy meals where you don't even have to cook anything. So if you want to see that, also subscribe and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.